everyone, it's me Samantha, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a bunch of stuff going on here. Um, so I went through and I found a whole bunch of tags that I have, or packaging, um, there. I also went through my paper and I pulled out whatever I had that was cut or ripped. It's only this little bit, but I think they kind of go together pretty good. Um, and then I wanted to try to, this is a journal book I started, um, I've only covered it in gesso and of course it's, it's already been marked up, um, but it's a nice size book, um, and I'm thinking it'd be good to maybe put these, cause these playing cards here, I want to maybe alter them, um, by letters in the alphabet, but I don't really know yet, I might just alter them and then somehow... Um, put them in the book and same thing with these I think if I can alter these individually they can also go nicely in the book and I can alter the pages so yeah um, let's just put the book aside pull up some gesso and right now I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this card in gesso maybe I can do it on top of this actually Getting more gesso on this book is not going to hurt it. And I do not have heavy gesso, unfortunately. Um, so my gesso will take a few coats to cover all of this in the background. But I'm not too concerned about that because I'm going to add some papers. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I guess I should just rip some of this off. And just, I guess, stick it on somehow. The gesso is still wet, so maybe it will help with the glue, maybe it won't. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that, um, cover it with some paper, um, and then maybe come back when it's all dry and for the next step. I've never done anything this small before, so it's definitely going to be a challenge. <laughs> 